It's been quite some time already since Bootstrap has released the fifth version of its library. And I didn't see a good tutorial on how to actually use Bootstrap with a view tree. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the easiest and the quickest way how to add Bootstrap to your view project. I do assume that you have NPM installed. If you don't have it, please check the description down below where you're going to find the link to the tutorial on how to install NPM. So let's get started. I'm going to start with creating the view project. So let's type view create. Uh, let's call it the view tree bootstrap 5 project and hit enter that's going to create us a new project it's going to ask us whether we want to go with the default values or manually select the features i'm going to go with the default ones uh, so let's give it a couple of seconds to finish creating mm, the project and we'll be ready to go okay now once installation is done let's uh, get into this directory and let's install bootstrap we're gonna use npm for that so npm install bootstrap now please note that um, now the newest version is 5 uh, however in the future if uh, bootstrap decides to release version number 6 uh, you'll have to specify number uh, version number specific version number like the bootstrap 5 now I'm just getting the latest one uh, and we're gonna check uh, which one is it in a second uh, we also need a popper uh, popper JS core um, dependency so let's also install that npm install at popper JS dash uh, slash core okay now we are ready to uh, work and to start adding this to our project so let's go to main js and let's add two import statements so first we're gonna add import bootstrap slash this slash css slash bootstrap uh, dot css we could obviously add also minified version and at the bottom let's add import uh, bootstrap dot slash this slash js slash bootstrap dot js okay now let's start our app so npm run surf or we could also say yarn surf that's gonna open our server that's gonna build the project and, and open the server let's wait till finish the dependency was not found bootstrap under is typo let's wait for the build to finish and now let's open our page so here it is and let's check uh, our source code and we're gonna see that within our head division we're gonna have this first style over here and when we open it we're gonna see that we have a bootstrap 5.1.3 installed let's use some component from bootstrap so let's go to bootstrap docs and let's grab something let's go to let's say components and uh, let's say navbar where is navbar it's over here navbar and let's grab first example now i'm gonna reuse the existing uh, hello world component so i'm just gonna simply um replace this content with actually entire template can be replaced and let's see how it looks now so here we have our uh, our navbar obviously if we go to app view and uh, this is go this goes below so let's put it on above now it's above and still we have some margin here let's get rid of this one and this is how you get your navbar to work it also works with js um, uh, components so let's go to uh, some js component like actually you already can see it with drop downs um, but let's go to carousel and let's use some of the examples so i'm gonna use this one i'm not gonna create a new component for this one i'm gonna um, just paste it within this template actually let's use let's paste it down below here now let's find some images for uh, for our uh, carousel so uh, lorem peaks it's the project which allows you to choose some images so we're gonna grab those and i'm gonna replace the source with some picture this is the size of dimension so 600 by 400 let's say and this is the um picture number so i'm just gonna randomly pick some ids so this is 237 238 and 239 let's save it recompile 
and let's see what we've got here. So this is the first image and within a few seconds we should uh, see the slide to the next image. And here it is. So if we want to speed it up, we could use this one with the, the control so we could slide it. But basically you see that it's working fine. So uh, yeah, that's it. That's the easiest way to connect your Bootstrap project. Uh, by the way, let me show you the last step, um, which uh, is very uh, handy. So if you want to deploy your page, uh, you can simply type MDB uh, publish. So if you're an MDB user, uh, you can simply uh, deploy your project, regardless whether it's uh, uh, Vue, React, Angular, or some backend technology. Uh, it's gonna be as simple as that. So it's building a project and it's gonna upload it to the MDB servers and it's gonna be available for you at this uh, URL. So if you go here, Boom, our project is already deployed. If you don't have MDB Go account, simply go to mdbgo.com and that's where you can create a free account and where you can start using this command line for free. As simple as MDB Publish. This is the easiest way to use Bootstrap 5 with your project. I'm also going to uh, create another tutorial where we're going to actually build the real page. So the real page with the navigation, some components in it. So if you don't want to miss this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn notification on. Thank you for watching and keep coding.